um, Vancouver New Music commissioned a piece for me called Icarus Landing a long time ago. As a matter of fact, it was in January of 1999. Um, so this is one of the oldest pieces in my catalog, I would have to say. And it had, it had a very unusual genesis. Um, Owen asked me to write it right at approximately the same time in my life that my father was dying of cancer. And so I first agreed to write the piece without really thinking that much about what I was writing because my mind was on other things. Um, when it was time to begin writing the piece, I realized that it needed for me to include my experience of my father's illness in some way. Uh, during the time that I was writing, I happened to listen to an old Jane Sibbery album that I hadn't heard for years. And strangely enough, this brought back a flood of recollections of my life at that time, and especially the sudden death of my boyfriend's mother. So that, that was an, another catalyst for the piece, and it suggested to me a framework for the composition. Although this piece is not intended to be a narrative account of the events surrounding these deaths, it does deal with the emotions that they engendered. The title Icarus Landing refers to the Greek myth in which Icarus's father made him wings so that he could fly. Icarus flew too close to the sun, his wings melted and he fell into the sea and died. To me, Icarus represents the euphoria of flight, the illusion of immortality held by youth, the inherent danger in having a parent who believes that his child can do anything, and the tragedy of realization of mortality. The landing of Icarus represents maturity through loss, the loss of a parent and the loss of the illusion of immortality. Icarus is no longer able to fly, he's bound to earth in his own mortality. The metaphor of descent, both into the past and reverie and into despair, madness, and illness is also integral to this work. In some ways, this piece was a culmination of my experiments with extended techniques. I continued to use them after that, for sure. But in this piece, they were, they were extremely important to me, simply because sounds like, like the sort of screaming multiphonic of the clarinet or um, some of the scraping inside the piano, they really seemed, they seemed like a very expressive sound as far as this despair. And I was also using them in kind of an unusual way, almost as a perversion or illness of the basic sound. That's not how I normally view them, but that was how I used them in this case.